Now this week, Trailblazers fans are trying to process the reports that came out about the face of the franchise, Damian Lillard, requesting a trade. Dame is loved by so many around the globe, but one local fan went as far as knitting his face on a sweater. We've got our correspondent, Jamie Hudson, hanging out with that fan right here in studio. Jamie, what's up? I love what you got going on over there. <laughs> right? I know. Good morning, Ashley. Yes, here with Trailblazer super fan, Gina Shaddix. And Gina, you not only put uh, your love for knitting in such a good use, but this Damian Lillard face sweater, it went viral. Let's mm -hmm. talk about this first. I'm checking in with you. How are you doing since Dame requested a trade? Well, like most of us, I'm not doing well. Yeah. Um, I've been through all five stages of grief. I'm okay with it now, but I really, Dame, please stay. Please stay forever. <laughs> um, I understand why he has to go, but I'm glad he was here while he was here. Now, some fans might decide to get rid of their Damian Lillard. Uh, memorabilia. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your sweater? This is never, traded? I mean, unless Damian Lillard himself wants this, I'm never parting with it. Every time he's ever in Moda Center, I will be wearing it proudly. Okay, good. I will represent Dame forever. What's the story behind the sweater? I work very part-time at Moda Center. Um, if you've ever bought a raffle ticket for the Blazers Foundation, you might have bought the ticket from me. Um, and I see so many cool signs and fan-made outfits and shirts, and I thought, well, what do I know how to do to get in on that? And I know how to knit. So I thought, what's a big... I, I was also looking for a large-scale knitting project to work on, and I thought, well, this here we it. go. <laughs> so I thought, can I knit a life a lifelike face onto a sweater and it turned into this. And it's amazing Gina. Yeah. What was the process like? It was a long process. It was probably about four months start to finish. Um, I found a picture I like. I manipulated it in Photoshop. That took a couple of weeks um, picking the, the color palette, oh. um, trying to find the yarn. Um, I actually took the yarn and split it in half to make it the right gauge. I knitted, unknitted, knitted, unknitted <laughs> a lot until I finally was happy with it, and then here it is. The total, it took you, what, about four months? Probably about four months start to finish from the, the time I got the picture I liked to the time it was wearable. Now, this is your very first sports yeah. sweater, yeah. right? Yes, yes. So this is what started it all? Yeah, this one was the one, there were some in the fan store, and I thought, well, I didn't really like them. They looked a little manufactured, mm. machine-made, and mm -hmm. I wanted that really nice homemade look, so that is what I came up with. What was it like when this sweater, I know you knitted this early in the season last year, mm -hmm. uh, went viral on Twitter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it was like? so much fun. I loved it. Um, I don't like drawing attention to myself, but I love it when the sweater gets attention. I love it that it makes people happy. Like, nobody is mad when they see the sweater. People like to take pictures with it. They, I just love that it makes so many people happy when they see it. Gina, this feels like Christmas in July, which is perfect for our sweaters. <laughs> now, not only do you have this fantastic blazer collection, which mm -hmm. I need to point out the Bill Shawnley, you've got to make your free throws. Mm -hmm. Best. This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, but you also knitted a Dylan the Pickles sweater. Yes. What was the inspiration behind that one? So in January, when this was kind of hot online, the Pickles account saw it. And if you're familiar with the Pickles Twitter account, they're a little unhinged, which is great. <laughs> so they offered me 100 US dollars, a first pitch, and the specific amount of 212 pickles to knit them a Dylan sweater. So I did, and last Monday I got to throw out my first pitch, and it was so much fun. That is so fun. So it all came back to the Damian Lillard face sweater, yes. then inspired Dylan the Pickles yes. sweater. So with this, now you said you're keeping it. I know people have asked you yes. if they could buy it off you. Every time I wear it, at least one person tries to buy it off of me. <laughs> Well, real quick, are you now going to look ahead to make a Scoot Henderson sweater or a play, another Blazer player sweater? Yeah, definitely. There will be more sweaters. There will be more non-sweater related fashion projects in the works, too. Oh, Blazer crafts. Blazer crafts, Perfect. just in general, wearable Blazer art. I can't wait <laughs> uh, for but that. But yeah, too, I am on Team Scoot, so I am, I'm really looking forward to making some more blazers awesome. sweaters in the future well, we can't wait for that so team scoop but always team always dame. team dame first <laughs> all right and actually this is perfect too because we're getting ready for the first blazer summer league game it's this afternoon, this afternoon. absolutely
Absolutely. I cannot wait. I love these sweaters. And also, I want to send a message. Dame, you can't leave after someone puts your face on a sweater. That's just rude. <laughs>